this was a hearing. Rudy Giuliani was there and uh, Jenna Ellis was there representing President Trump. President Trump called in to the hearing as well, which he likes to do. He likes to call in to all of these hearings when they're going on and, and giving his two cents. And uh, or in his case, it's more like four dollars. Um, but what happened was during the hearing was Rudy Giuliani in his opening statement said something which was so great and so important that the people in the hearing actually stopped and applauded him. They gave him, I mean, I don't know if it was a standing ovation or not, but it was a rousing round of applause that he received from the people uh, at this hearing yesterday when he was giving his opening statement. And here's what Rudy Giul uh, Giuliani had to say. Hey, all you fat guys. No, that's, that's, that's sorry, that's, <laughs> that was, that was not it. That was, here's what Rudy Giuliani had to say. And I'm going to ask you to fight. And I'm going to ask you to try to implore the other members of your legislature to stand up to this. Do not be bullied. Do not be frightened. Your political career is worth losing if you can save the right to vote in America. In fact, I may get you a... Everyone like free. They're like, oh my God, that's it. That's so true. Your political career is worth losing if you can if you can use it to restore uh, faith in free, um, free elections here in the United States of America. Which is exact, and that's the and that's a key because what the media tries to do, and they've been doing this long before Rudy Giuliani, long before Donald Trump. But whenever a Republican came along and questioned the status quo or did something that they didn't like, whenever the Republicans came along and you know imposed some kind of moral legislature said, hey, you know what? You guys are crazy. We're going to fight you. The way the media fought back, the way that the, uh, the, way that the people um, in the media and on the Democratic left fought back was by ridiculing the Republicans and causing them harm and making them look like idiots. And they do it to this day. They've been doing it with Donald Trump or trying to for the last four years. And they're continuing to do it. That's why you have Republicans who will not fight with the president. That's why you have Republicans who will step aside and let the Democrats take this election away from them. Real real legislators don't do that. Real Republicans don't do that. Rand Paul, you're not going to find him doing that. Donald Trump, you're not going to find him doing that. Ted Cruz even. He's going to he's going to be steadfast in his morals and convictions and he doesn't care what cartoonist makes what political cartoon about him. He doesn't matter how many angry tweets he gets talking about his hair and his weight and his ridiculous. He doesn't care about any of that. Because he has a job to do, and he's out there doing it. And these people cheering Rudy Giuliani, these Giuliani on in this hearing. Your political career is worth losing if you can save the right to vote in America. In fact, I may get you a... Yeah. And those people applauding at that public hearing, those people are what are driving these investigations. Those people are the ones that are giving fuel to the fire that needs to burn so that we can figure out what happened in this election and keep it from ever happening again. And that's why Donald Trump's rallies were so important, because you saw that real people were bypassing CNN. They were bypassing the fake news. Real people were out there and they were supporting the president and showing them, we believe you, we have your back. We want for this country the same things you want for this country, and we want you to be our leader so that we can make sure that we get them for ourselves and for our posterity. And the media will always try to take those people down, and some people will fall for it. Some people will not fight because they don't want to look ridiculous. They don't want to be called treasonous. They don't want to be called a kook or crazy. Oh, you crazy coot. You're trying to, they don't want to be accused of, of, of disenfranchising voters when really that's what most of them are doing. You know, they'll be like, well, it's time to move on and work with the Democrats. Fun fact, the Democrats don't want to work with the Republicans. They just want to destroy them. And we see that going on right now in this Georgia runoff election. The Democrats, they're not gonna, they're not gonna say, well, you know what? Let's see how this Georgia election just pans out. And if the Republican wins, fine. We'll work with them, much like Joe Biden said. No, they are in there actively fighting against the Republicans because if the Republicans lose, there is no Republican Party anymore. There's a Democrat in the White House, potentially. There's a Democratic Senate, a Democratic House of Representatives. It's, it's a free for all. They will, have, they will have basically killed the Republican Party. And a lot of these governors like Kemp, like Ducey, like the idiot in Ohio, they'll just stand by and let it happen.